another uh, video for you guys on how to feed your uh, dogs, whether it be pit bulls, bullies, German shepherds, whatever type of dog you have, huskies. Have another video on how you're supposed to feed when you're getting ready to breed. Now, right here I have Blue Diamond. This is for the female. It helps the female produce a lot of uh, milk and it helps for the puppies too while she's pregnant and nursing as you can see what it says down there so this is perfect for you it's called diamond it's the purple uh purple bag go ahead and purchase that it was only mm, maybe 30 dollars i think and i'm going to mix it with this this is victor the dog food i always use this is the highest um percentage of uh protein that you can get it's called victor ultra pro and when i tell you it's some serious protein it's really some serious protein it's really potent so what i'm going to do is take this right here a couple of ounces of this the victor and mix it with this so that way the puppies will, and the female get will get a lot of nutrients as far as protein and the fats that they need to sustain themselves and as you can see you got everything you need right here this one right here has 30% crude protein, 20% fat. And so that's what you're looking for. The main ingredients, you always can tell what the uh, dog food is made of by the first uh, ingredient. So right here, we got the chicken. So that's major what the majority of this uh, dog food is. And right here, we're gonna look at the sport mix. I mean, not the sport mix, the uh, um, Victor. So it has, as you can see right here, 42% crude protein. That's the highest protein that I've seen. And when I tell you it's really strong, it's really strong. Uh, beforehand, when I was using it, my dogs couldn't keep it down because the percentage of protein was too high. As you can see, it's 42% uh, crude protein and then 22% fat. You need a little bit more fat when you're uh, consuming this much protein. And that's what humans or any other animal, you need a lot more fat to balance it out so that's why I got these two mixing together and what's gonna do is gonna fatten the female up get her nice and plump and it's gonna get the puppies nice and plump too and it's gonna help them uh, beat uh, any viruses and any uh, worms that may be in their system It's gonna help them help their immune system the fatter the puppy is the healthier it is the healthier their immune system is it's gonna make the the breeding awesome the puppies are gonna come out thick and awesome and right here, so this is for my female snow, these two. I'm gonna take a couple of ounces of this and maybe two cups of this and mix it together and then feed it to her. And right here for Royce, I got him some sport mix because Royce eats a lot now. He eats a lot. Uh, where is his bowl? So Royce will eat like a, a dog bowl full of this and it'll be piled up to this. And that's just one season. He just eats a lot. He's growing. He's really big and his appetite is just there. I work him out so he consumes a lot. And so what I got him was uh, Sport Mix Premium Energy Plus. This is for working dogs. These are this is really good. It has a nice balance percent, a nice balance of protein and fat together. So what I'm gonna do is take uh, two cups of this and a couple of ounces of this and mix it together. And that's gonna give him what he need. What he needs is gonna help him out with uh, advertising because you know when you're in the dog business and your breeding and everything, your presentation and the way you present your uh, your kennel is everything. So this is gonna have him looking right. It's gonna help out his coat. Gonna have him looking nice and plump while he over there sleeping on the floor over here, knocked out, waiting to eat. This is what they do. When they know I'm in the kitchen, they'll just come and lay down and eat and uh, just chill until I put their bowls out. But yeah, this is what I have. This is gonna help him uh, with breeding too. It's gonna help him, his uh, sperm count go up. And this is gonna be awesome. So this is what I do. I only do this around breeding time. Fatten them both up so that way his sperm count will be high and uh, she'll be healthy and enough to receive the puppies. They're already big now. My dogs are always, always stay healthy, but I'm changing up their diet just for this season, just for the next uh, two months. And I may keep Royce on this same uh, process. I'm gonna see how it works with him because usually I just feed him the green bag Victor. I ran out of that. Y'all saw it in the last video. Here you go, right here. Ran out of this. This is what I always feed him. And he's looking right. 
but he just eats too much for me to continue to buy that. He run, I'll run out of that food maybe in like three weeks and it's like 40, I'll probably spend like almost $40 a, a bag on that. So this is just more sufficient. This is only maybe um, 30, I think, $30. This was 48, I think, and this was 30 something. So altogether, I probably spent like $116. I get my uh, my food from a, a guy out here named Jason Amos. He has his own uh, business, small business, and he delivers the dog food. So he came and delivered it, dropped it off right to me. And he also does all kinds of things. I get my dogs their own shots. And I think everyone should, because when you go to the vet, these same shots right here that the vet give them, you can get it from a feed store for $10 and then you just administer the shot to them for yourself versus paying $30. I'm a, I'm a businessman. So I'm looking to save as much as I can. So that's why I get my uh, puppies there, uh, shots herself. I've been doing it since I was young. My dad was a breeder and he did it. So that's just something I learned. But yeah, I'm actually mix up the food because I got another secret for you guys. Also, Jason just received some uh, Victor canned food. So this is it right here. This is lamb and rice. Pretty good. I'm gonna mix it with their food just to wing them onto it because new food well this isn't new to them but these two will be new to them i don't know how they're going to take i don't know if they're going to like it so i'm going to mix it up together and uh we're going to see how they turn out all right so i'm ready to go just opened up the bags and uh get ready to show y'all so this is my first time really seeing the uh, diamond puppy food for the females and puppies it's pretty small the pebbles are small didn't know they were this small so We'll, we'll work to make them work. <laughs> I didn't know they were this small, but it's really good though. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how fast she completes this bag because she'll be eating this alone. So we're gonna see how long this lasts. And then we have the uh, the um, this is the Victor Ultra Pro. You know, we gotta say Ultra like Ultra Class Kennels. Like these shoes, they Ultra, but y'all know nothing about that. Though. I'm gonna let y'all make it. But yeah, here we go with the Victor. It's a little bit bigger. So, what is high in protein, this alone right here is, it's just crazy how much protein is in this. And the crazy thing about it is that you'll see your dog change the weight and everything. You'll see it change in about three days. You'll see how much weight they gain because it's so high in protein. And it's not like fat. We can't say it's fat because of, of protein. So it's gonna put muscle on them and things like that. It's gonna help build muscle. But you also have to work them out too with this. You have to work them out. When you feed your dogs this way, you have to work them out or they will get fat. So here's the sport mix. Sport mix is a lot bigger. That's what you need when you have big dogs. That's what you need, bigger pebbles, fill up your stomachs, make your food last long. Cause I don't wanna hurt y'all pockets. So do what's sufficient for you guys. There's a lot of good dog foods out there. You don't have to break the bank. This is only a hundred dollars. It's probably gonna last me. Probably I'm gonna try to make it last me about two months, maybe a month and a half at the most. I mean at the least, but I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna try to stretch it to two months. So we'll see. Cause they're they're the only dog food that they're eating together is this, but they're only gonna eat a couple of ounces and they're gonna be mainly eating these other two. So we'll see how it works. So what I'm gonna do is this is about this is like a peanut butter jar that I had and I just kept it, recycled it basically and put it to use. So I'm gonna take a cup of this, get a scoop, nice big scoop. Well, let me compare the dog foods for you so y'all can, can see. So you got that little one right there. That's the uh, diamond. That's the uh, Victor. The protein is really black, really black. And here's the sport mix. So you can see the difference, but yeah. This one is really good though. Really good, really good. So yeah. Here we go. Now, let me get a cup of this. Fill it up. Here we go. Dive that in. I'm gonna take a couple of ounces. I'm gonna use this to get a couple of ounces. That's a cup, that's I think that's a cup and a half of food. And this is a couple of ounces. A lot of little ounces, but we're gonna take this much. Put that in there together, mix that in. Get a 
high percentage of protein and fat. So we want the puppy to be nice and fat. There we go. Mix that in. For the female, for the females and pup, for females and puppies, so that way the puppies come out big and strong. And it helps them produce a lot of milk, uh, extremely lot of milk. So it's really good. I can't stress that enough. If you have a pregnant female or you plan on breeding her, go ahead and get her on that before you breed her. And I'm telling you, so this is a sport mix. We're gonna drop that in there. Royce eats a lot, so that little thing right there, they ain't gonna do nothing for him. He's gonna be mad if I just feed him that. And don't talk about my baby bowl. He did that. I don't know why he did that. He like the two on crap. You see, Snow is a woman. And those little bite marks, Royce did that to her bowl. I had to hear it and snatch it because he trying to mess hers up too. But this is his bowl. This is where he likes himself to look. So this is him. So that's two cupfuls of that. And then I'm going to take a couple of ounces of this Victor. Mix it in. Give Royce a full little bowl of this because of the, way he, the amount he eats. And we're going to just mix it. Like that. Together. Ah, I got all this stuff on my hands. So there we go. That's how it's gonna look. Now I learned a secret from this guy because I was having problems with their coat, skin, uh, Snow's coat was uh, drying out a little bit. And so at first I thought it was a dog food that I was gonna have to switch up and get grain free. But he told me before I switch up and get grain free, just add a little bit of uh, oil to the food because he told me that dogs don't produce natural oils like we do, or as much natural oils in their skin and coat like we do. And so he told me just add a little bit of oil. You can add coconut oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, any oil that you have around the house. I think the most natural way you can do it is uh, with uh, fats for meat, because that's what they'll be eating in the wild. That's how they, they replenish the oils in their coat. Uh, they'll um, eat animal fat. So if you have like, some uh, like a roast or something, you're cutting off the fat, just store it, put it in the freezer, save it. Don't throw it away, save it, and give it to your dogs. And that'll help them produce the natural oils and then it'll kill, help keep their coat shine naturally. But I don't have any of that right now. So what I do is get a cap full of vegetable oil and I'll mix it in their food. And I don't do it daily because it can make them really gassy, like oil would make us gassy. So I just get it, put a little bit in, so I do get it, put a little bit in, in each bowl, and then I'll mix it together. And you'll notice, like a couple of hours later, you'll notice that oil that you mixed in the food, you'll see it come out in their coat. Coat will be a little bit shiny. So I'm gonna put a little bit more, just a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. Just to help them replenish those natural oils. This is a uh, vegetable oil. This is the only oil I had at the house at this particular moment. So that's what I'm gonna use right there. The first time I used some grease that I did when I made a burger, I steamed the burger and all the grease from the burger came to the bottom. I just mixed it with their food and their coat shined within a couple of hours. It looks so good too. So it works people. Get you some oil, mix it in your dog's food. It's beneficial to them, and it'll add a little flavor to their food, and so they'll be good. So now I'm gonna take this lamb and rice. I'm only using it because I have it with me. So I don't usually use this my second time using it. And so I'll split the can up into two. The little opener thing popped off, so now I gotta find a way to open it. So bear with me really fast. All right, so I got the can open. So now, what I'm gonna do is mix it, dip it in and mix it. Try to evenly spread it. I need a smaller spoon, obviously. But yeah, I really love Victor products. They're really good. This is food that you can't buy in a uh, like a regular pet store for some reason. I don't know why, but the quality of the food is extremely good. If if you guys are looking for it. A good dog food with clean uh, food, not that, you know, processed food or filled with, uh, well, all of it is processed, but it's the quality of it. If you're not looking for something that's just filled with nothing but grain, like a lot of dog foods, you can tell like the ingredients by the first, uh, by the first, um, 
ingredient that's on the uh, back of the dog food. So if it start off with corn, then it's, it's not good. Majority of that dog food that you're feeding your dog is corn. Now, you gotta realize that once upon a time before dogs were domesticated, they were wild. And never in history, on any history channel have you seen, or any uh, um, Discovery Channel, none of that, Animal Planet, you've never seen a video of a pack of wolves going to a cornfield and eat corn. You know, you never saw that, so. That's what you gotta realize, that's what you gotta, you guys gotta understand, that you can't just feed your dogs anything. Because their immune systems and their bodies are built differently than ours. They can't consume the grain the way we do. Now they eat berries and strawberries and, you know, fruit, things like that. They eat fruit, but they don't eat all kind of fruit. So you really gotta do your homework and research on what you're feeding your dog. So, all that corn, like the dog food, that main ingredient is corn, it's not really good for them. So, Sorry about the little camera angle. I'm trying to work it myself and get this dog food out. It's kind of stuck to it. So just bear with me for a little bit. I'm going to put it down right quick. I'm going to look at Royce. See what the heck he's doing over there. He ain't doing nothing but laying down anyway. He's going to sleep himself. Always trying to sleep. 24-7 looking at snow. Looking at y'all. Trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, um, I'm trying to get this name dog food out is giving me a hard time. Dog food giving me a hard, hard time. Y'all just gotta bear with me. I'm gonna put it out real quick. I'm still here. Screen black. I'm still here. Y'all can hear me. Couldn't find them the proper look thing. But. Just bear with me. Now we got it out. Now you can see the first ingredients on this uh, Victor. See, lamb, vegetable, broth, lamb, liver, brown rice. See, that's the first green that you saw before you um, in the ingredients. So majority of this is lamb, vegetable broth, vegetable broth, and lamb liver. See, majority of it's lamb. That's what you need. That's what your dogs need. Something real, not corn. And I'm not knocking anybody who's using corn because maybe you were just like me and wasn't educated on the dog food. So, I'm just gonna mix that up. I think I'm gonna just put a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little sport mix in it. But then again, I'm not. Cause we, got, we got the Victor in there. The Victor is gonna balance everything out. You don't have to give them a, a high amount of food in it and have Victor mix in it. So we'll see. She's gonna smack this real fast. Hopefully she don't smack it fast. Hopefully she take her time to enjoy it. But Snow Life is gonna heal her food. So yeah, this is how you feed a pregnant uh, puppy, a pug, pregnant pit bull, whatever, bully, German Shepherd, Husky. This is how you feed them when they're pregnant. Because what you want to do is prevent the mother from getting sick and prevent the puppy from getting sick. Because you got to realize that she's going to be eating, you know, when a, when a, uh, a, a, a human is pregnant. They're pregnant for about nine months and they're feeding an extra person in their stomach. So all of the food that they eat is kind of divided. So you gotta realize with a dog, she has about 15 puppies, nine puppies, sometimes four, just depending on the breed and the size of the dog. We have a bigger dog, obviously you're gonna have a lot more puppies. So you gotta realize that she's not only eating for herself, but she eating, she's eating for uh, 16 or 17, Sometimes 15, 10, a lot more than just her she's eating for a lot of puppies. So you gotta make sure she's getting the right nutrients. And so that's why I'm doing this, going an extra mile. It's a, I'm looking at it as an investment. Yeah, I'm investing a lot in her, but I want the puppies to be healthy. I'm gonna take care of her because she's gonna take care of me. This is a business, so it just works that way. So here's Royce food. I'll mix that up. Let him eat his feel, big man. Yeah. Trying to do a good job of mixing it up like this, so he won't just lick the uh, canned food out. But Royce always eat all his food, so we'll see. And this is new food, so anytime I give them new food or something new they haven't ate before, they always eat it because they enjoy it. 
A lot of people say dogs don't get tired of eating the same food, but I believe they do. I think that's just a myth. Cause every time I mix their food and change their food up, they eat it like, like oh my gosh, like what is this? I got a little bit falling out, but that's okay. I don't want to hear no comments about my uh, I read no comments about my bowls. I don't care. It's the way he like his bowl. He like to chew his bowl chewed up. He think he a junkyard dog, but he out there really scared of balloons. I had a balloon tied to him today. And he was afraid of it. So he ain't as hard as he think he is. Look at him. He like, dang, you taking all day trying to talk to these people, trying to show them videos. Boy, I'm trying to eat. Look at him. Look at his face. My like, dad, come on, man. I'm trying to eat. This little sleepy cell. You hungry, Royce? Hmm? You hungry? Huh, fat boy? Come here, fat boy. Come on. Come eat. Come on. Oh, he mad. He don't want to move because he's mad. It's all good. I still put snow in the cage at this age because now Snow realized that Royce really be trying to steal her food and finesse her. So what she do is she just go into that guard. I'm going to guard my food mode, protection mode. Thank God they finally stopped peeing in the house. And so they pretty probably trained. Come on, Snow. Come get your food. Come on. Come on, baby. Look how big she is. Look how beautiful her coat is. And that's just the regular victor. Try to get a side angle over. Come on, Snow, what the heck are you doing? People want to see you, baby. People want to see you. Say, hey, people. Say, hey, people. Hey, people. Come here, come on, come on, come on. Get in. In. Come on, get in. Get in so you can eat. Here. Eat your food, baby. Enjoy. And what you want, fat boy? Hmm? You want to lick cameras and phones? Hmm? Look at this big man. Come here, big man. Here. What you doing, fat boy? Come on. Look at your food. Look at that baby food. Hmm. Come here. I don't want you by snow, because I'm going to growling at you for no reason. Here. You can eat right here. Look at him. Look how big he is. I'm trying to get y'all a better angle. Excel Pitbull. I hear a lot of comments. Well, I read a lot of comments. There's no such things as XL Pitbulls. Well, my friend, no one cares about what you think, all the knowledge that you think you have about dogs. No one cares. I really don't care. So, <laughs> I honestly don't care. These are XL Pitbulls. These are UKC style XL Pitbulls. And I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a difference between a bully and a Pitbull, my definition. So, a bully, He's a little, he's a lot more shorter than what Royce is. Royce is pretty tall. He probably comes up to my knees and I'm 5'11", almost six foot. So that's pretty tall. Bullies aren't really that tall. Okay, you gotta look at how tall and, look, and long his legs are. Bullies had a lot, have a lot more girth. Yes, Royce's legs are big, but look at him. It's tall. The bullies, their, their, uh, their legs are probably this long. They're not as tall as he is. Look at his hind legs. They don't have the bulkiness of a bully. If I were to take him to a dog show, they wouldn't consider him to be, you know, uh, uh, the ABKC standard uh, standard size of a bully, of how it's a bully's supposed to look. They wouldn't say that would. I don't know what class I'll be able to put him. I'd probably have to put him in the standard uh, class if I were to take him. But he's not standard height. He's taller than standard. He is not a bully, he's an XL pit bull.